And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Wednesday, 6 p.m., brand new Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. Hey, we are new, not live. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta run your dick through a windshield wiper. I don't know what that means. Uh, we are new. We're not live. I'm in California, and Jay is. Where are you at? Well, I just have my thumb up my ass right here in New York, but oh, I am... Uh, slowly thumbing your dumper. Just thumbing my dumper, figuring shit out as I go along. <laughs> That's your thinking man pose? Now I leave uh, Friday mm. for Cleveland. Cleveland. Hilarities. You've done that before, right? I have. I heard it's great, great club. club. It's really good. Yeah, I'd like to. It's in that whole new downtown area, which LeBron James has bumping. Does he? Yeah. He's brought the town back. Good for you. LeBron. Cleveland hasn't had a jump like that since fucking 1999 Eternal. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, see you at the crossroads. My favorite is during Crossroads where he's like, Living in a hateful buzz and I'm a straight to hell. There it is. I like when he goes, And I miss my uncle Charles, y'all. Seven eight pow, seven eight pow. Hip up, up, did up, up, hit up, up, deep up, I loved this album and I was Puerto just Rican rap, dude. I think Puerto Rican? Rican? I think some of them are, they are they Hispanic. Were... Hispanic. They can't all be black with that hair. They got they, the good hair. They got straightened out though. <laughs> yeah. Some of them do have a straightened out. Some of them are black. But definitely some of them are a little bit uh I'm gonna miss everybody. I'm gonna miss everybody, everybody. Can we do all of our live reads like Busy Bone? And I miss my squatty party, y'all. Egyptian cotton, look at it go. sheets. I did. I was talking to the guys, uh, and obviously we didn't bring this up on Monday, but I walked in and I was hanging in the office, and. Uh, all of a sudden, Lou just started singing, talking about Jacob. Oh, dude. Talking about sweet, sweet pussy. Talking about Jacob. Uh, Busting that shit open. Talking uh, about Jacob. Jacob. Getting that Jacob. sweet, sweet pussy. Do we have a drop of that? Talking about, about Jacob. Getting sweet, sweet pussy. Talking about Jacob. Getting that sweet, sweet pussy. Talking about Jacob. Uh. <laughs> I've, I've added levels. I've added layers to it now. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been you've been doing some remixes? Yeah, talking about Jacob, getting that sweet sweet pussy. Talking about Jacob. Oh. The second one's got to go. Yeah, Jacob. The second one starts lower. You know what I do sometimes? And Jacob, I I don't think about you all the time in the shower, but sometimes I do when I add a rap verse to that. Go, <laughs> really? Talking about Jacob. Talking about sweet sweet pussy. My name is Jacob, and I'm here to say. <laughs> <laughs> That getting strange pussy is a okay. <laughs> I like cheese and I like the bing. <laughs> so Monday on our live episode, we spoke to Jacob about the break because that's what I'm going to do. Let's talk to him about the break and see. I'm going to get an update on all this. Although I feel good. Jacob may have had a good break because you said he came in here listening to the Goo Goo Dolls, feeling pretty good about life. Yeah, so. I think he, I think he is a Goo Goo Dolls fan. Yeah, fan. He seems pretty defensive about it. He knows their early work. Oh, really? Like, he stepped in and was like, I'm going to defend him. He's like, I used to be all about the lemon heads. <laughs> <laughs> I was used to, I was all about better than Ezra. Then I'm taking a stroll on the Jersey Shore. Dude, I saw Johnny Resnick, lead singer of the Goo Goo Dolls. And we uh, were just talking about him. Saw him at a VH1 show I did a few, maybe a year or so ago. Yeah. And man, he is aging rough. I don't think he's aging, though. I think he's chopping up his face. Is that what it is? He looks like Sharon Osbourne. That's hilarious. He does not look good, man. It's really, uh, yeah, look at that. If you hit Google, if you're doing Goo Goo Dolls, it, one of the things is Singer's new face. Yeah, dude, we were comparing it while we, while we were up here in the office. He oh, looks like... Oh, man, why the fuck do people do this to themselves? He looks like the vampire version of himself. That has to be like... Uh, like someone's got to jump in. There's just no one in these guys. When you get enough money, man, no one's in your life to say, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it's all yes men. So then they, they let you get a face like that. Why would they let that happen? Look at young Johnny Resnick was a looker. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I don't want my face. Shibba di ba 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 do. I have Jennifer Aniston hair. They call me Rachel. <laughs> it really upsets me. The LGBT communities are for him a bit boo. He looks like a supportive lesbian wife. He really has gym teacher hair. He does. Lady gym teacher hair. He just, can't, he just couldn't stand uh, aging, huh? Do people have that big of a phobia about it? God, he was good looking. He was. He was incredibly handsome. No matter what the... He goes, guys... He goes, just leave my, uh, just leave my chin dent. Mm. After that, dude, just fucking whack away. Here's here's the land. I, here's the land I don't want touched. I don't want my butt chin messed with. I want my original ass chin. Everything else, man, I don't give a fuck. Put me under. You guys can give me hard boot stumps to the grill. <laughs> I want to wake up and not know who I am. Like I want to wake up where you are. I want to wake up and. All right. Now, in fairness, that one picture was just carrot top. <laughs> where? Uh, who's also who's also massacred his face? Why? I mean, that's got to be there. Has to be like a top twenty like celebrity face massacres, like, of course. Joan but Rivers. she, but Joan Rivers almost made herself freakishly pretty in what she could be. I You're worked with Joan she... Rivers before, and like, look, she looks like you know, it looks obviously very surgical, but she looked like. Really pretty for someone who was in their fucking 70s. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, but it's got to be an incredible insecurity that pushes you to have face surgery. You just I, I, hate I, I fucking, mean, hate just fucking growing no up. No fear of, you have to have no fear of, I have fear of just surgery in general, getting put under. Yeah. To, let alone to have somebody, I mean, have you ever seen a facelift, what they do? Did you ever see that, that uh, MTV show? Vince I Neil. Want, oh, what about I Want a Famous Face? Do you remember that show no. on MTV? I don't remember that oh, show. Oh, dude, this show was fucking... How this lasted on MTV is insane. They would just chop people up to make them look like Britney Spears. Oh, man. Yeah, I want a famous face. That's grotesque. Yeah. There's a... There's a looks like a tranny who wanted to be Jennifer Lopez, I'm seeing. Yeah, but there was like a guy who was like... I forgot who he wanted. The, the Britney Spears one was like... It was very hard to watch because they show the surgery and it's like, you know, like when they're jacking, you know, when their bodies are lifeless and they start jacking their body oh, around. Dude, I mean, really, it's like, like sawing. By the way, none of this is like uh, pleasant, soft. It's like, it's like not only is it invasive surgery, it's like graph. It's graphically violent surgery. It's almost like they're beating them up. Uh, uh, you got to watch. There's got to be footage, YouTube footage of Vince Neil just getting pummeled. On his skull. They peel his face down. Ah, dude. And just start hammering did away. I tell you, did I tell you when I waited on him and he got fucking hammered? No. Oh, dude, it was great. Vince Neil? When I was at Dos, when I was at Dos and I was a waiter, <laughs> he came in and just drank a shit ton of margaritas. And he was the only one on the patio. And he was with like this like porn star chick. with like. Do you keep throwing double entendre? You're like... Hey, bro, kickstart your heart, huh? Yeah. I'm like, or, or I start, uh, I started quoting Van Halen songs just to piss them off. <laughs> hey, it looks like you're pretty hot for teacher, huh? <laughs> looks right. like you're running with the devil tonight. Uh, wow! Wow, well, all right. <laughs> one more, one more uh, fucking margarita. There might be an eruption. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not my band, man. Right, well, whatever. You guys, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> just walk away from him. We're just talking about his drummer's conquest. That Tommy Lee, huh? Just ripping through puss. Can Who's you, this slob you're with? Can, miss, can I ask you one question? Convince Honk a Boat in the proper way. <laughs> dude, he looks fine there. He's fine, dude. Lose a little weight. That's your problem. You can solve the problem. Lose he a couple looks pounds. like a normal person. He does. Ah, oh, dude, I'm going to have a real problem with this. Cause he, I actually, like he, looks like, he looks like David Cross with a wig on, <laughs> quite honestly. Is this a Mr. Show fucking sketch? He's going to chop his face up? But you know, I mean, the thing's like, I don't know. Stop shaving off your eyebrows. Yeah. Stop doing all these other weird things. You know, grow your hair out one length instead of having bangs like a goddamn secretary in 1987. <laughs> Like, grow with the times. Don't have to be like, hey, I'm a little lost in time here. Can, well, that's what they're doing. Can you knock my skull around a bunch? <laughs> I'm going to lay down and go to sleep. You uh, beat me up until I think it's 1987. Is that again. the girl that was there with him? Uh, no, but like similar. Yeah, well, you know, he's the only one. Well, now I guess she came back and did a bunch of porn, but Janine Lyndon Mueller. Oh, yeah. He was the only one who uh, who knocked her uh, knocked her out on <sighs> She was my film. favorite. Was she? 
For a while, yeah. She hung in there for a while, and then she started to look a little raggedy. And then she look at this chick. Looks just like him. <laughs> He's just banging himself. Look at that. That's what they're going to cut. They're just drawing lines on Vince Neil's face. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, they're not going to show it. It's going to cut off early. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's pretty neat. They're going to put my ears where my eyebrows were. So, so that's gonna, pretty sick. First, they're going to take my cheeks and cut them off. Then they're going to put their dick in my mouth and <laughs> sleep. Hey, while you guys are in there, if you want to make me look like a wolf, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I've always felt like I'm part animal. <laughs> if you could construct that. I would just like to be a wolf. Do you think, I mean, the other guys of Motley Crue, like Nikki Six. Did they get facial surgery? I mean, if they did, they got fantastic facial. They look fine. But when he was done, like Vince Neil afterwards, he looked like he had like that permanent smile on his face. It's like it, it looked ridiculous. <laughs> like, uh, you know, in Batman, the Tim Burton Batman, where they got the smiles after he gasped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he looked like. <laughs> yeah. He looks like, yeah, he looks like fucking, he threw the Joker acid on his face. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> just playing Party Man by Prince. But there's some people that get shit and it's done like, look, man, you can get a part done. You can get a part. What does that mean? Uh, you look, you got a fucking whacked out nose. You want to get your nose fixed, get your nose fixed. That's fine. It's the problem is like most of the people, they don't stop there. They, no. they, they want to get like, the whole thing reconstructed. And they're like, once you go in there, and by the way, I kind of get it. You know, it's like, hey, man, I just feel like my, my eyes need a lift. I need a little bit of an eye lift, you know. It looks a little, and then, it, it, not that I need that, I'm saying. I'm saying, I can see walking into a place, like, that's your problem. What if you just... You feel like your eyes are drooping because you're getting older, right? Yeah. So in your 50s and your eyes droop, you want an eye lift. And they go in there and they go, well, we can clean up all this. We can get rid of those wrinkles above your lip, and we could do this to your forehead. And they do, sell you like a car salesman when you're getting your face done, probably. And when you're a person who especially, look, look. Vince Neil, yeah, there's his after looks. Well, let me see. You yeah. know, right there, three down, all the way to the left. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, he looks like a woman. There's that permanent smile. Yeah, he looks goddamn ridiculous. Um, But here's the thing. Because well, they smooth out your face in a weird way. It's like when people, facial surgery to me reminds me when I used to do shots, and I'd always do one too many. And you'd have that feeling right when you did one too many where you're like, ah, Fuck. Should have stopped. And then you start spending life trying to fix it. Yeah, by just chasing it. I mean, it has to be what Michael Jackson was doing. 100%. Just trying to fix it. Yeah, just like... Because uh, so weird. Uh, it's like it's like one of those scenes in the cartoons where they're plugging the dam. Yeah, and more, and more, things, more cracks keep happening. Yeah, but it's your face, and it's with a knife that you're trying to fix it. And it's a terrifying endeavor, it seems like. If I were ever with a girl that was like, I'm going to have facial surgery, I'd be like, please, just no, what the fuck? I don't even think I'd want a, a, a chick to get, like, breast implants. No. Or, if it was, like, if they were dying for them. Yes. Go ahead. What about butt implants? I think that's weird. I don't even know what that looks like. Well, there's, like, a lot of porn stars that have. I don't think it's, I think it's a fake thing. I think, doesn't Lisa Ann have butt implants? No, does she? I don't think so. I think it's a fake thing. It's a fake thing? I don't think it's a fake thing. I think Nicki Minaj has butt implants. No, she's a big, fat, black ass. But they show that picture of her before she was famous, and she has no ass. Yeah, and then she had money to eat. <laughs> but you can't just eat, feed into your butt. <laughs> you know how much Popeye's chicken you could buy with number one album money? A lot. A whole bunch. And then you can go to Costco and stack up on some frozen Philly cheese sticks. <laughs> you know where that fucking, you know where that chicken grease goes right to? Her fucking... Your fat black dumper. I bet it's not. I think she's got butt implants, dude. Let's take a look. Before and after, it says. I mean... Wow. Dude, she's just got a big fat ass. <clears throat> like, why would you get implants to do? That's her before and after. I mean, like, dude, that's a crazy difference. I don't know. Is it? Yes. Lou, find better examples of this. <laughs> you just start fucking beating up. Lou. They used to say, uh, "What's McCall's wife?" Ice tea. A Coco? Well, she's mostly plastic, right? She's not natural. I mean, if that's a look here, look that picture there is particularly weird. But again. We're looking at photos. It's like seeing things in person versus seeing them in a photo. You're I think right. it stretch that shit out. Nicki make it look Minaj, weird. if you're listening to this, <laughs> to the bonfire. Bonfire SXM at gmail.com. Yeah. Send naked pictures of your ass. <laughs>
If you're listening, we're friends with Redman, if you're wondering. It's cool. He's like our unofficial third member. <laughs> He's pretty cool with us. We're like the deaf squad of comedy radio. Do you love that? Go ahead, look at that picture. Go back one. Do you love this? Do you like an ass that that's, that that's, I mean, it's that ridiculous? Do I like, do you mean like, do I want it every day? No, oh, yeah. For novelty, you'll take a shot at it. Yeah, for sure. I just want to do this where you lift one cheek and then let it drop. Like it's <laughs> wah, a, wah, 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 yeah, like it's a, that's like the whammy bar of buttons. I mean, that's gross right there. But you'd say it's a, you'd say it's an unattractive ass right there. I don't think it is, though. No, yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah you it do. looks like a big fucking wad of bubble gum. Your ass shouldn't be an entirely different entity from your, uh, from your, like, you know, she looks like a centaur. Thighs. Is that her? Or a girl that died in a gang shooting in 95. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, rest in peace, little mama. Oh, I miss you every day. Think about you. Um, no, look, and there she has got a fat ass. I mean, look. She probably, uh, you know, worked out, ate a bunch of garbage. I assume she's a soda drinker. And all that stuff just goes and builds your big fat ass up. I'd say more that she didn't get ass implants and that she had a bunch of shit like sucked out of her stu- you know you're she had saying, her stomach all shaped so you're saying she got big and gained mass and then yeah, she might be it. shaped I, I mean, do we have confirmed pictures of ass implants i want to see ass implants i think i know they're a real thing they do it all right let's see here i got some pictures here christine you're you're a lady you know more about this stuff are butt implants real they are real Right? Never, what if I got a fucking thick old dumper? Oh, man. What if I went in and just had it done? So to just fucking hook up a fat. Just, Yo, dog, hook me up with a fatty. Yeah, I just come walking around the corner, just fucking two live crew blaring. Everybody else, hop with it. <laughs> just start wearing fucking jean shorts that come to show my pocket. Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe that's an ass implant. But that's, again, my point is right there. Look at it. It's a different entity from her legs. Yeah, that's why it's a butt implant, But dude. that's gross. I know. Who wants that? But I'm looking at the brassiere. It's a weird thing. That wow. She, that, that's I That's like. Kim Kardashian. That's, is that, does she have butt implants? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could argue now, that, yes. Her ass is nuts. Now that I'm stepping into the world with a, with a new uh, set of eyes here, yeah. accepting that there are ass implants are a real thing. Yeah, welcome, was, out, of, welcome out of the Matrix. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just dropped. It. I mean, that's gross. That is. Who is that? Nicki Minaj. She looks like she's hiding. She's trying to sneak in food to a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Uh, that's gross. That's gross. Also, uh, that's see. That's too much. Ow. Ew. Wow, Ew. this is bad. Well, uh, that's. So funny. That's so funny. If I'm this white kid, how do you not just poke it? With a pin? Just a... <laughs> See, she flies all over the place. And weirdly enough, right on the same page there, you see a picture of Monique uh, From... with her super fine husband. Oh, Monique's got a man. But you got to see him, but it's like... It, like The boy's mine. She just used her fame and charm... To get some way out of her league, dude. You know what I mean? Look at this guy. This guy's a smooth brother right here. Get it, Monique. Oh, I thought you were talking about Monica. No, no, no. Monique, yeah. the, the comedian. Yes. But she is, uh, you know, a big old heavy woman. And when she's not all made up, I bet she looks uh, pretty blue. Dude, that butt, that's not real. No, that's not real, probably. But I mean, like, what's, that looks like I, I don't know the idea. You're... I don't know what the idea of that. Like, again, you've made yourself a fucking novelty. Do you remember when you were a kid and you'd stuff pillows in yourself to sumo wrestle your friends? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever have that happen in my life. Not once ever. You never once put pillows inside of your shirt and just ran into your friends. Like God gave me pillows under my shirt. <laughs> I was shirt. waiting for that. I was waiting for you. To... Thanks for teeing me up. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, when I was so skinny and I could always just eat as much as I wanted. And I never gained a pound. I'm prepared for a sumo fight, I tell my friends. I, <laughs> Jay, why are you getting a, a extra value meal and the 20-piece nuggets? <laughs> sumo fights. I'm a sumo. I'm too broke to afford pillows. You know American Ninja? Well, it's like that, but with sumo. <laughs> American sumo. American sumoing. 
Oh, uh, we got a, um, there was, what movie was I thinking about that we have to watch together? Belly? We haven't watched. I, I have never, I haven't seen Belly since it came out and I don't remember enjoying it at all. Can we watch it? But you say you love it. Yeah, that's why I want to watch it with you. I'll yeah. bring, and I'll tell you what, if I bring over my equipment, Lou, and I record it, could you use that? Yeah. I think we need to do that. Record us watching Belly? Yeah. Let's get super high and we'll watch Belly. Is it terrible? I don't remember, but I have it on DVD. Is it wonderfully terrible? I hope so. <laughs> I know Nas's acting is like incredibly terrible. Next level shitty. Like DMX actually is a good actor. Because his life is an act. Hey, don't say that about Dark Man X. <laughs> That's what his life hey, is at. Hey. You don't want to hey, hear you, it. Do you want me to put slipping on? And you want to hear what he went through? Him. Oh, oh. Him. I woke up. I was tired. I had to go <laughs> check the mail. There was nothing in the mail. I went back to sleep. <laughs> had to feed my mistreated dogs. Uh, they were mad <laughs> that I hadn't been home in three days. Did you ever hear a good DMX uh, breaking down speech in concert ever? Oh, yeah. it's th Those are amazing. They're amazingly bad. Yeah. But, like, do you remember the prayers he used to put on his albums? And my dogs. I love you. <laughs> I love you. And God, can you hear me? Because it's hard down here. <laughs> Brother needs a motorcycle. Kawasaki Ninja. <laughs> I would really like an extra week of vacation. <laughs> I don't know, it's just turning in the Macho Man slow. <laughs> My DMX it just blends into everything else. Next thing you know, Jehovah's Witness at your door. Uh, and then I go to Blockbuster, but they're out of the new releases. <laughs> I'll get mad. Why do you only have two copies of Patch Adams? Everybody you know it's out. You know, I want to see it. It's a hard one movie. <laughs> you gotta bring up, you gotta bring up a DMX concert speech. Yeah, do it. It would be Luke. the worst. And my dogs are down for me because they are down. my dogs, and I pay for their rent. <laughs> yeah, he really can't freestyle without music behind him. Uh, a acapella, acapella DMX. His <laughs> speech is for the worst. And then you just see it's like the same, but a clown, though. You know what I mean? Then he ends up in jail. No. Well, I think he's... Uh, no judge wants to hear that nonsense. I mean, It's Dark and Hell's Hot is a great album. Sure. Okay. okay. But dated. No. Sure. I listened to it the other day. Still good. But it's dated still. Do you want me to turn this into a DMX Wednesday? Look, man. Do you want me to turn this into a DMX Wednesday? I like Hey Lover by LL Cool J. You but do it's not. Dated. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Round the Way Girl is dated. Um, of course. I know, I'm kidding. That's yeah. Pretty, that's pretty obvious. That's an I obvious love. one. love. Bing, boom, bing. Anything that starts like that 80s. Oh, here he goes. There we go. He's teeing off. Because being on stage in front of a room full of people that love you is better than the best pussy I've ever had in my motherfucking life. Tell me that. Tell me that. But I still want that pussy. <laughs> Hi, DMX. Hi, Dan Soder from the Bonfire. Uh, just want to say, perform stand up almost nightly. I've had some great shows. Pussy's still better. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy's still better. Raw sex is way In better. that moment. In that moment. Listen, making people laugh is great. <laughs> Right. But he also always like you, know, you look at his albums, he's like Redemption of the Beast and all these things he comes back, but he always comes back and he fucks up. Yeah. I mean, from being like a guy who could definitely and probably did on his name sell out Madison Square Garden and shit like that. Yeah. To being a guy with that I mean, you remember that court thing, right? The thing when he was like in front of the judge? Yeah. Looking like an idiot. He was also on couples therapy. Did he do that? I think so, right? Look. I know he did couples therapy, but I know he did um he was going to fucking celebrity box uh, George uh, Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Yeah, I mean, come on. Dude, yeah, he was... I remember he was... I was actually talking to a friend about this because a buddy of mine called me after I heard Red Man on the bonfire, and he was talking about the Hard Knock Life tour that, that he went to because Method Man and Red Man had like one of the best sets, but then everyone said that DMX stole the show. Like, Jay-Z went on last, but DMX went on second to last, and mm -hmm. they said everyone went fucking apeshit for 
DMX. And the this James, thing recently? No, this was like 99. 2000. Okay, back when it was like contemporary. Yeah. Because we like those best of Jeff Jam things now. Oh, those are when great. They come back and just, it's great seeing guys with like gray fucking cornrows and shit. <laughs> yeah. That's always my favorite. Yeah, watching EPMD fucking <laughs> take a slow walk. We're holding canes. Yeah. What's that going to be like? Uh, but there's no bands now that are like dangerous that it's going to be weird to see them get old, right? No. Kendrick Lamar, I bet, will age gracefully. Yeah, watching it happen to Marilyn Manson is breaking my heart. Is it? Day after day. Every time I watch, because pretty... they, they just did a whole thing. He went to uh, France. Yeah. After that whole thing, which, by the way, you know, that happened all while we've been gone. Yeah. <laughs> which was crazy. It was nuts. E Eagles of Death Metal. Eagles of Death Metal concert. Josh Homme, not there. Not Merch there. guy, dead. Dead. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's an interview coming up this week. It's probably already up. This is the Wednesday show on Vice.com. With Jesse Hughes, the lead singer of Eagles of Death Metal, really? and Josh Homme, uh, just talking about the incident. And I watched a preview of it. I haven't watched it yet, because obviously this is Monday, recording for Wednesday. Sure. But uh, pretty intense clips. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, it happened. It was, yeah, it's horrible. What happened out there? But, I mean, that's, that's, but, all, um, that's the only way you can describe it. But Manson, I guess, did a, a concert over there? For them? I don't know if for them or if it just happened to be the timing he was going there. He's overseas right now. And he's just like, man, it just, it, and, and someone, the article I read was like, it was like, here's why Manson's still the man, like still killing it. And then you watch like the clip and it's, it's just so bad. <laughs> what Manson's live show is? He's just like, uh, dude, if you could do a side by side, man, just, just get anything of him doing in 2015. Marilyn Manson 2015, you can watch, it's just, he's like fat. Sort of, and like boy, he wears a vet. It just looks bad. His face is all fat. It's just so bad. Now, I gotta get him performing. Yeah, here you go. Rock on the range. This is the one I, this is, I watched. This is actually the one I watched the other day. And you were bummed out. Yeah. And then you can go watch, <coughs> like on the same right in the right in the recommended videos next to it. Uh, you can watch him the two, 1996, and this, it, it'll bum me out. But watch. Skip further ahead in this, Lou, and you got to see when he starts taking everything off, like, when he's, like, sitting down on things. Why, because like, he's uh, tired? Is no, he... no, 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 I'm not saying it's like, look at his, like, his, look, I'm a fat guy, I've been fat my whole life, so I know the angles that are bad on me, but him, like, sitting on, st yeah, this is just, him doing sweet dreams, it's just so forced, and he just looks ridiculous. We're watching Marilyn Manson rock on the range from this year. And Jay's bummed. Um, yeah, he bums me out. See, I think he doesn't look that bad. No, man. He does. Look how heavy he is now. His baggy leather pants now. <laughs> so you want svelte... To go, uh, look up Marilyn Manson Guns, God, and Government Tour. I mean, it's it, it, the DVD. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, look how he was so awesome, dude. He was so awesome. There you go. Irresponsible hate anthem. You can go to that one. That's fine. Down, down one more. Yeah. So this is ninety six. No, this isn't even. This is uh, twenty ten. No, no, it wasn't 2010. It's not that I'm short now. Yeah, no, that's when, that's, when, that's when it was uploaded. No, this is like, uh, we'll say like 2008. I mean, like, he, he's supposed to look like that. Yeah. Okay. Now I see what you're talking about. Now you compare it. That's what he was supposed to be. Yeah. That's exactly what Marilyn Manson's supposed to be. He's supposed to be thin. His shirt's off. He's wearing, like, lingerie and shit. All these things that are ridiculous. But you're like, oh, it works because... He does that. Uh, Scott Weiland should really thank heroin every day. That he's got that bod still? Because he just, like, whatever it is, man, I saw him when you come out. And, he, and the same thing, to be able to pull off things like wearing women's lingerie on stage. It's <laughs> yeah. like, ah, it's so rock and roll, man. Yeah. It's because of that. Yeah, because you're, you're thin and you're kind of creepy looking. Yeah. 
but like it, no slinky wants, and weird, man. No I mean, like wants, all the all the makeup he did. He, he had long want, hair. It's like Marilyn Manson did his thing. Like his face. But you don't want a dad body and a bustier. Yeah, just that, which, shoving, what he's doing. And he can't. Shoving tits up. You're right, and he can't do that. But my point is. The act is over. You think so? You think he can't slim down and get back to fighting shape? Marilyn Manson is 43. Okay. I'm going to guess. No, maybe older. Let's find that out. Let's fact check how old Marilyn Manson is. Jacob Bingett. Oh. <laughs> I know you're. I know you're. Uh, I know you're updating the website for ilovegoogoodolls.com. But if you could. Check out Marilyn Manson's birthday. He looked. He looked like Marilyn Manson. Is the best way to put it. He looked. Like, he always looked like Marilyn Manson, and now he looks like a fucking guy wearing makeup and putting on a thing. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Forty six. Okay. Yeah, dude. See, here's the thing I like. Oh. The one thing I'm happy about being, you know, Queens of the Stone Age. Josh Homme is going to be able just to be an old man. He can. He can be an old man because he's essentially a singer songwriter. Yeah. Do you know? What I mean, I started watching this uh, thing the other day. I got to go back and finish. I was. Pretty much was enjoying it. Shot a little weird. But remember, we had the argument about the Kurt Cobain yes. documentary. that uh, Montage, uh, Montage of heck. heck. Which I thought was just front to back piss. Yeah. Doo -doo, uh, doggy doo. -doo. Hated it. Doggy doo doo. <laughs> I wish they do didn't. <laughs> as they say in Boogie Nights, it's doggy doo doo. <laughs> but I thought uh, it was terrible. But there's one out now called uh, Soaked in Bleach. Okay. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Started watching. It's really, it's all the accounting and and actual audio recordings of Courtney Love and him and a bunch of other people about, this is basically, it seems to be setting up that, like, Courtney Love definitely had him murdered. That's what they're trying to kind of get at in this document. I, again, I haven't seen, I fell asleep after, like, 25 minutes, but I was into it. It was just late. Yeah. Okay, so how about we both watch it? We should both watch it, but I'm just and saying... next my, week but, we'll but, give a breakdown. We could do that. I bring it up simply because um, he says something interesting in that that, I re that really st stuck, and when you said it just now, it kind of resonated. He said, uh, you know, I hope through time that people will start seeing me as a uh, singer-songwriter, you know, and I can do, you know, play some acoustic stuff and figure it, because, like, so this way I don't have to, like, really just sit around and... Throw yourself you know, in the yeah. I don't want to be called grunge for I'm in like a grunt excuse me, a grunge box right now. Yeah. And he goes, but I it's not the kind of music I'm trying to do, like any put in any kind of box. Well I definitely so think like, if I become a singer song, he goes, then I can get older and still perform, is what he said. You know, I can get old gracefully and perform. Yeah. You know, uh Bo Diddley and BB King, those guys were able to play into whatever. It was still always just as awesome. Yeah, dude. I mean Buddy uh, Guy go Buddy see, Guy still plays. Right. I don't I'm not a Dylan guy, but he can still do it. Hey, is he bad? You can still buy the stones. Yeah. You can still well, buy the stones. Here's the thing about the stones. The stones, yes, you can, but you like there is a little bit of a Marilyn Manson that kind of like the stones were Mick Jagger writhing around and fucking you know, obviously they still give full energy, but it is old men being like, you know, Look out! Here I go! <laughs> better, lock, better lock your ladies up! And you're like, nah, Mick, you're not gonna... It's like, there's almost a little bit of it. I look at, like, Marilyn Manson, and listen, I love the Rolling Stones. One of my favorite bands of all time. I think they're fucking unbelievable, and I love it. But there is that element of, like, the same feeling I get when I see Hulk Hogan, and he's like, what you gonna do, brother? And you're like, beat your ass, because you're an old man. Right. And I got speed and stamina, and I'm in my fucking athletic peak right now. Yeah, the thing, though, about celebrity, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It almost kind of goes back to why these guys are massacring their faces. Yeah. To stay some certain way doesn't make sense, because I said this to uh, Christine last night. Um, Tom Petty's doing some, like, you know, one Palladia channel, I think. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. On one of the holidays, is going to do a full uh, day of Tom Petty. Now, see, Tom Petty almost looks with his beard now and long hair still, almost looks kind of cooler now than he ever did. Yeah, he was always just kind of ugly and yeah. weird looking, and uh, now he's got like a kind of a, you know he looks like an older kind of cool guy. Yeah, and I'm like, what's great about Tom Petty is, and I don't know if he's married or I don't know if he's well, whether he's a faithful marriage or what, I don't know what his deal is. But let's just say, for argument's sake, he's a single guy who's out there and, and hoping pussy comes his way. Tom Petty, and this may be a low number. For there's definitely, I said three to five thousand smoking hot, twenty seven, twenty eight, even up to say like thirty two, thirty three year old 
just smoking hot chicks. Yeah. In this country, that he's that he's their favorite. Yeah. And would fuck him in a heartbeat. Yes. He doesn't have to change a goddamn thing. He doesn't they have love, to get his fucking eyebrows moved. He, he just has to, to play get, last mi- dance with Mary Jane, and they're gonna, and they'll come back. Yeah. And all, and on top of that, he probably also has a world of forty something year old smoking hot chicks. I mean, I mean that now we're talking. Uh, tens and tens of thousands smoking hot 40 something year old chicks that want to fuck him. I went to see uh, Poison a few years back. Um, it's not what you think. I know. I camped out for tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I slept in, I slept outside of a Ticketmaster location. You did in a sleeping bag? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did I miss it? What's oh, up? Are you still tickets? Are you just opening? When are you guys going to open? You're bothering the guy opening the record store? I'll tell you how long I've been watching Marilyn Manson. I remember going to the video store. They had a, it was a Ticketmaster location and, and waiting at 6 in the morning for them to open. I was talking this weekend to somebody about how disappointed I was one night where I, my mom allowed me to camp out. At a Ticketmaster location for Beastie Boy and Rage Against the Machine tickets, and they sold out in fucking ten minutes. And then everybody, so I mad. Remember, a whole bunch of people gave their tickets back for that tour. Do you remember why? No, because they, I don't want to jump too far ahead. Put a pin in that. Okay. Um, I was saying. Uh, oh, you were talking about um, Poison concert. Oh, uh, I went to a Poison concert, and there were two backstage. You could see two generation of backstage slob. <laughs> And I mean that in the hoary way, not yeah. like not good looking, good looking. Oh, you're about to get it, BM. Oh, Brett, get it. Wow! Get oh, that just power hat. kick. Take that hat, cowboy hat off. What's up with that bandana under it? But but Brett Michaels looks borderline ridiculous. Yeah. And I mean, there was like a a 19 year old smoking hot chick and her mom, and they both would have fucked him for sure. Jesus. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like it's still out there. There's still, yeah. It's still going well, I bet strong. there's, there's, you know, obviously women that want to bang Marilyn Manson. There's women that want to. Oh, of, of course. As I'm saying, I just wish, as a dude, what's yeah. bothering me is he's lost like the rock star coolness to me. He's lost his bangableness. And he's my to favorite you. ever, ever. My favorite ever, as far as that goes. Like, as far as a rock star, he was just the coolest to me. Yeah. So to watch that happen is kind of a bum out. Now to say where we were, uh, raging the raging oh. Beastie Boys. Rage and Beastie Boys, and we should talk about this. We gotta take a break. I know here in a minute we've been going. We've been we've been soapboxing. <laughs> yeah. If I may. When we don't have any calls, buddy, it just I know. the juices flow. We're we all just start we just start verbally tongue kissing each other. Um and double check this for me, Lou, because I do believe I'm right about this. I think a lot of people returned their tickets for that show. I wanted to get tickets to that show. I really wanted tickets. And it sold out. A I bunch of people furious. returned them because uh they were a lot of the proceeds were going to Mumia Abu Jamal's, uh, like like like, you know, like legal help. We you know Mumia Abu Jamal. It's, it? it's a Philly story, but it's a pretty big story. What was it? Um, there was a thing in Philadelphia called the Move. Yeah, it was like Jamaican, uh, a gang basically. But they were they basically had like a city block they hold up in the city block. They were just drug dealers. They were just bad, 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 bad. It people. reminds me of the bad guys in the Steven Seagal movie Death Wish. <laughs> is that what it was? Not that marked for death, you mean? Marked for death, damn yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw face. <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah. called me screw face. Yeah. And they were tweens the whole time. Was down, we're almost going into Banderas territory. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> no. No. No, the No, the No. I gotta say. No, Mumi Abu Jamal was part of this thing called uh, the, the Move Group or the Move Movement. I don't know what they were called. But move, e- either move. way. And thank God this was a black mayor who did this. Thank God. The idea when they had like a several day standoff with the police. I was a kid. I was a real little kid when this happened. Yeah. Um, Mayor Wilson Good. Isn't that a great black name for, a, for a mayor? great name. Wilson Good. Wilson Good sounds like an album your dad grew up listening to. Mayor Wilson Good fucking uh, had, uh, dropped a bomb and leveled a city block in Philadelphia. What? Uh, yeah. Dropped a Bomb. <laughs> what? I don't mean a bombshell of information. That's what I thought you were going to get to. No. He dropped a bomb. He fucking bombed a city block? They cleared out everyone who lived there who wasn't part of this gunfight. And he leveled the city block. You can look that up too, Lou. 
uh, to make sure I have my facts sheet on that. But he leveled it. I remember going to see it with my mom. You went and watched? No, them, uh, no, no. We went to see the aftermath. No. I thought you were like, everyone was going to watch him bomb no, no, his block. No, no, All the scary black people were bombed at that point. Oh, Jesus. Black on black crime, though. Wilson Good throwing it down. He didn't play that shit. Um, <laughs> Mumia, Mumia Abu Jamal was uh, one of these guys. Now, I may, I'm speaking ever so slightly out of school on this. Okay. In that, from the from the information I've gathered through the years, is basically Mumia Abu Jamal or his brother, who are both not good people. Okay. Uh, one of them executed a cop. Okay. Daniel something. If Gino Stakes in Philadelphia always had a big thing, they always wore the uh, uh, they wore the shirts for the. I've, now I'm being a dick and forgetting this officer's name, but um, Daniel something. And uh, you know, it was like one of those like put your hands behind your head, get on your knees, shot him in the back of the head type things. Took him out. A lot of that going on these days. Yeah. Well, this was you know this is way back. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the prequel. Late eighties, early nineties, I guess it was. Probably late eighties, I think. And he uh, yeah, they killed this cop, and he's in jail. Oh, well, he's in jail for life. Cops. And so for some reason, he becomes like this thing that people are like they get on this cause like free Mumia Abu Jamal. It's like. This guy was not a good, like, he killed, so he, <laughs> I get the one to let somebody out who's not guilty of the crime, but I mean, like, they're talking about, like, this man should be back out on the streets, living an awesome life. So I want to know, I have to read up on this shit. Yeah, it's a pretty big thing. And uh, yeah, it was the whole thing. So, so people were giving back their tickets because Rage Against the Machine, which is obviously very politically active. Right. They were, was it Rage or was it a mixture of Rage? Because the Beastie Boys were also politically active. Yes, they were, and they were both, for some reason, both on board with trying giving. to put things, but giving this guy some money for his uh, fees. Now, look, you know, read up on it, draw your own conclusions. I'll say it there to you and everybody at home, because uh, you know, I bet there's some people out there who still think the West Memphis Three did it until Eddie Vedder told everyone that that they didn't do it. And Lou, you're a huge Pearl Jam fan. Did you get behind that cause? Yeah, we got that guy right out of jail. Good boy, Eddie. First of all, there was three of them. Do a little more reading while you're listening to your jam music. The songs are 16 minutes long. Why don't you do some reading while you're listening? The West Memphis and they were falsely accused of the criminal activity. Coming and killing a girl. <laughs> Never met. I'm just going into Metallica. Oh, yeah, those three boys' dicks were cut off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Take a look at the step down. <laughs> He's got a weird face. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Just jumping off a fucking rap. We gotta take a break, right, Lou? Yes. Were we supposed to a long time ago? Probably. No, don't give me that Goo Goo Doll fan face, Jacob. How many, how many, how many, how many for straight minutes, I think. <laughs> we'll be right back. Moon Bean Bonfire. City, a world of sex. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yeah. yeah. It's the bonfire Goo Goo Doll Wednesdays. That's that's in tribute to our very own boy named Goo himself, Jacob. Uh, biggest fan in the office of the Goo Goo Dolls. Talking about how he used to go see them as a young boy on the Jersey Shore. No shit. Says he, he, he knew they were going to be big. <laughs> I, and it's just Jacob. Okay. Talk about sweet, sweet pussy. Talk about Jacob. Jacob. And I remember before the show, Jay, you weren't here, but Jacob said uh, when he saw him at the Jersey Shore, he knew that if, if a movie ever came out about angels, that they would write the perfect song. <laughs> you know, like Iris, you don't have a, you don't have a soul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, there's no time where I want to hear it. Well, guess what? Well, Next commercial break's going to oh, be one of those Oh, it's happening. <laughs> Without a doubt. Your co-host was rocking out to them before you walked in. I was at the top of the And guess what? If we want to boost up my mic, the people at home, the campers, can get a little taste of my version of Iris. 
Could you imagine if you had an angel and it was fucking Nick Cage? I would be so pumped. <laughs> you know how many gone in 60 seconds jokes I'd make? Hey. I'm your... And I was just going to do it. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to do it. I'm your angel. Oh, I don't... I don't know. I don't I don't do one. <laughs> I'm an angel. But I can't... <laughs> I can't do it. You could wish upon a star. star? <laughs> I want you to take my wings off. <laughs> I want to be a real boy. Take my wings off. <laughs> Our shitty Nick Cage. Um. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we're going to do face off. My Travolta is going to be Dice's Travolta. What? It's so weird. No. It's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> what was the one they did on SNL where they were like, uh, oh, that's that's good. Where they did Celebrity Jeopardy. I forgot who did him on Celebrity Jeopardy. It's so weird. Oh, this is so weird. I love dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I love big hairy dongs. That just went away, huh? Travolta getting rubbed up by a dude just kind of goes away. Money, man. It's also just at the end of the day, no one gives a shit. You know what I mean? Like This isn't the time for people to give a shit. They care about the words other people are saying. You know what I mean? Like, it used to be that people were bored, so they're like, I heard he's a homosexual. <laughs> like, yeah. Now they're just like, what did you say? Like, people are too busy worried about taking people down. Remember Wendy Williams, man. I, you know, I, I, waited, uh, I waited on her, too. <laughs> I used to do her comedy shows once in a while. Who did I? I want to name all the people. Hi, girl. Uh, she makes a... Hi, She's made a old white lady approachable ghetto popular somehow. I don't know how, what you would call what she does. I don't know. How you doing, girl? Oh, oh well, you need to do is get a good brother who can take care of for you. Love yourself, girl. <laughs> get over here, you tub of shit. Where you from, baby? Oh, look at this hunk of dog shit. <laughs> Love yourself. What's your name, Sarah? Oh, this stupid. You're eating yourself to type 2 diabetes. What you want to ask me questions about? Look at this just close to Beyonce territory. I, I mean, you would talk about somebody who's got freakishly uh, plastic surgery. Dude, she's big, too. It looks like Wendy Williams like put Michael Jackson's like skin over her bones. Yeah. <laughs> after he looks died. Like every time a celebrity dies, she puts their skin over her. She's freaky looking. In a boner making way. Sort of. Yeah, no, it's true. Definitely. I mean, she's got to be old, too, and she's got big old titties. Big old fat booty. Mm. Thin little waist. Yeah. But she just goes out there and just talks to these, like, shithead, dump-a-lump, <laughs> Midwest garbage Wait. animals. Yeah. Wendy, my name is Melissa. No, there's got to be, as a... be a montage oh, of, the, of, of the middle-aged white girls going... When they, you know, when she talks to them, she goes, "How you doing?" And they have to go, "How you doing?" <laughs> Find a Lou dog. Go just, get a Lou dog. They just massacre it. <laughs> Jacob, can you bing it too? Or are you too busy blogging on GooGooDolls.com? <laughs> Well, you know, he's uh, a <laughs> he's the president of the Goo Who's fan club. Yeah, hey, as as senior Goo, uh, can you all of his passwords are Goo 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 ninety six? Their best year. Okay, this is a reel of her doing. I mean, she is ridiculous. Let me move to the couch. Yeah, Let me yeah. move to Come the casting. Here. Let me move to the casting couch. How you doing? What you doing? How 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 you doing? She's like, hold on, real quick. She really is. She's like the cowardly lion. How you doing? How you doing? Do they have a do they have a how you doing the audience like a real the audience doing it? There you go. How you doing? Fever. I bet that's it. How you doing? 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 And Mrs. Obama, how do you do? Uh -huh. She cleaned it up. Hey, Missouri, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, good. Give that kid a beeper and a gun. How you doing? And how about we? How you doing, Queen? Let me see you do. How you doing? Oh. Oh. How you doing? How you doing? Oh. Too white. Paris Hilton was too white to do it. And I hear, how you doing? Wow. It's like a ghost. I got those like a ghost of Wendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendy. 
Hey, find the God going. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> By the way. Flat iron, you're blonde. It looks fried. Yes, yes. Oh my God. How you doing? No. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? What is the mass appeal of <laughs> dipshit, over-the-top women to, like, gay dudes? And they just love having that fan base. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, There's my favorite. Hold on. Go back to that Walmart greeter. <laughs> oh, she looks like... How you doing? How you doing? She's like, uh, you know what I call you? My husband calls you the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> I speak English. <laughs> Thank you. She was not happy about that. What a doof. But it really is. Like, like uh, someone like her, like her, I mean, <laughs> not, so her stupid. fan base is, is that, is sad, fat, middle-aged women like that lady <laughs> who drags, who drags her fat duff to New York yeah. <laughs> to go sit in an audience for five hours to finally get her chance to go, how you doing? You know what? And I was in the audience and Wendy, I had a question for Wendy and they put the microphone right in my face and I said, how you doing? And he has to go, how you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty good. I lost I'm the, good. I I'm lost, so good. I lost the scarecrow. <laughs> you know, I'm doing a thing I don't want to do. It. I don't want to do it. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a breast lift. <laughs> I got a big titties. <laughs> I'm a small waist. How you doing? <laughs> But what man, gay guys really love looking to some love like it. Barbie doll shithead always. That's why my favorite thing the She's thing a series of surgeries and wigs. Yeah. Work. And her town <laughs> is going <laughs> But then she does what's this thing? <laughs> That's what we need. What's gonna be our bonfire version of this? Let's just take how you do and see if we can get it. <laughs> no, we can't. Why? It's Stern like... took Hey Now from fucking uh, Larry Sanders show. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, he says that though. I didn't. I totally didn't even realize hey now. that. Hey now, that's fucking uh, Hank from yeah. uh, from Larry Sanders. Yeah. Hey now, let's just take how you do it. Let's awesome. make it more. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> it sounds like a yawn. How about for ours, you have to yawn? So hold on, hold on. Let me work up a yawn. Oh, I kick it. Up. <laughs> this is like a passing car. I, have you ever sat? I can't look at anybody. I'm going to work up a yawn? Yeah, work up a yawn. Yeah, work up a yawn. It's like trying to work up a boner. I know. <laughs> you try. I would put a voice over to you. Oh! Your mouth is open forever. Um, have you ever sat audience of any talk show? Yes. Which one? Good Morning America. Oh, I when I was in different. like seventh grade, it's a little different. That was it. My mom woke us up at fucking five in the morning to go wait in line. She brought you to New York? No, no, no. It was in. They were in Denver. Good morning, America. Yeah, my mom was oh, like... you get to meet Fat Al Roker? No, I got to meet Paula Zahn and Harry Smith. Paula Zahn. So maybe it wasn't Good Morning, America. It was CBS This Morning. Paula <laughs> Zahn. Do you remember Paula Zahn? She can well, catch it. Was she a fucking... Did, was she, did, did she fuck Clinton? Was no, she, man. No? She's classy. Sorry. I now want to see her. Paula Zahn and Harry Smith. Mm, is she something else Paula Zahn here? That's Paula Zahn. Wait. Yeah, Paula Zahn still looks good. Let's take a look at Paula Zahn. It's got some images on her. See? Oh, yeah. She she looks like your hot stepmom. Yeah. <laughs> looks like somebody that Gary was bedding down. <laughs> Dude, Gary definitely took it. Gary would take down a Paula Zahn. <laughs> when she realized he was wearing no undies under those fucking corduroy shorts. Um, yeah. All right. What? She's like mayor wife hot. Mm, Senator wife? Yeah. Maybe like city council. <laughs> I'm looking for lower office. It's a state office. She's a state office. Huh? Still state office. Show Harry Smith. Show my boy Harry Smith. Dude, look at that. She's gorgeous. That was her part. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's very blonde. She is classically beautiful. And that was her partner? Or Harry! Was guy, or was that guy knocking, her, <laughs> knocking his dick in the dirt? I don't think. No, that's her partner. That was her, that was her uh, co-host. Oh, okay. All right. 
Yeah, well, you know, for him, he'd probably have to be looking at her. So that's it, but never like, I mean, I mean the classics. I'm talking about if you ever sat in like a Mari Povich. No. Richard, Wanted to go to Jerry Richard Springer. Richard Bay show. Dude, I used to want to go to Jerry Springer so bad. You went to a Richard Bay? No, I went, I went to Richard Bay. How was that? It's Lou exactly, went to Richard Bay? That's exactly what you'd think it would be. Jacob, did you ever go to TRL to see the Goo Goo Dolls? Okay. <laughs> no, he couldn't get in. He had to wait outside yeah, that yeah. island. Were you on Times Square Screaming island? at the window. Yeah. Holding your sign up. <laughs> Just I, an arrow pointing down. This is a boy named Goo. <laughs> I, I'd wait forever. <laughs> and I'd give up forever to touch you. I'm your Iris. I'm your Iris. <laughs> City of Angels. Nick, be my angel. What if they when they see uh, Jacob like getting out of the shower? He's got I just want you to know who I am tattooed on his back, just huge. Or he's got them fear the Mark Wahlberg goo goo forever, <laughs> goo goo forever, forever. It's all it's all pen ink and uh, I <laughs> Boy did Scout knife carvings. I, I did this for you. <laughs> Give up forever just to. <laughs> Should we take one more break? Yeah, quick. And then roll it out? Mm -hmm. All right. Dude, it's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Boy name Goo! Boy name Goo! Yeah! <laughs> Best make a wish ever! It's Goo Goo Doll Wednesdays on the bonfire. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Go Big J Okerson. <laughs> Big J Googerson. <laughs> Big J Googerson. Goo! The Goo! <laughs> Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. This is the bonfire. We've been shitting on Jacob for loving the Goo Goo Dolls. Used to see him, young man, Jersey Shore. They're punk rock. I bet he's got a. I bet he's got a shirt that's all like he sleeps tattered. He sleeps it out. Cause it was real. He got it. I bet it was a crisp screen print when he got oh, it. Oh yeah, and he was like, "I'm gonna wear it out of here." Now the shirt actually looks like Johnny Resnick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just I just imagine an oversized shirt that Jacob sleeps in. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up, makes pancakes, <laughs> but it's super comfortable. <laughs> his little hairy, his thin hairy legs coming out of the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and the girl he just banged, he's like, "Would you like some? Uh, would you like some pancakes, lover? <laughs> do you like cheese in your eggs? I hope you like cheese. <laughs> Want to watch me do push-ups again?" <laughs> <laughs> Just humming to himself. When everything's made to be broken. I mean, now some things are made to be broken, like these eggs. <laughs> just serve me. <laughs> hey, Nancy. I just want you to know who I am. I'm Iris. <laughs> I wonder if Goo Goo Dolls ever try to get angel. get anybody out of jail. They just <laughs> they just up their sentence. <laughs> 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 we want to get him out. He murdered someone. <laughs> We've actually just tacked on another 20 years to a sentence. Uh, I myself hate the Goo Goo Dolls. All Goo Goo Doll crimes are related to like just guys blowing each other in bathrooms. <laughs> Public indecencies. It's all, it's, that's what it all is. It's either like... Uh, Set them free! Set, Set them free! You try to put on Iris and not immediately start <laughs> sucking off the closest man to you. <laughs> Give it a whirl. I dare you, officer. I'll, I'll step out of the room. You can arrest me. I don't give a shit. I'll go because I know when I die, <laughs> all I'll hear on the loop is Iris. <laughs> oh, the sweet guitar picking. Oh, was was is that it? That was it, buddy. Can't last forever. No, it's can't a heart that can't last forever. That's, that's, his motto, that's his motto about his face. <laughs> that should have been his motto about his face. Oh. Yeah, we lost Lou. Lou was talking about, he said he went to the Richard Bay show. Yeah, he did. We lost him out. Do you remember Richard Bay? No. What was that? <sighs> it was somewhere between. I, I remember Phil early, It was somewhere between early Jerry Springer and uh, and Morton Downey Jr. show. Now I remember Morton Downey Jr. because he'd always fucking just scream at people, and I thought it was hilarious. And he just and it'd boot you off. Oh, that was the best so part. So good. He's like, you know what? I don't like your views. Get the hell out of my show. It was the best. Do you remember when he... But it's fake. It was all fake. Yeah, but do you remember when he came out to the Piper's Pit during WrestleMania? Yeah. And then Roddy Piper hit him. He kept smoking and blowing it in Roddy's face. Yeah. And then he hit him with the fire extinguisher. That was Is Roddy. he still alive, Morton Downey Jr.? I don't no think he way. can be. He died. Yeah. The June? Dude, yeah, dude, he was great. Hey, hand me that letter next to you. We got a gift in the mail. What? Read it. Okay. Read it, motherfucker. <clears throat> hey, guys. Uh, I heard you talking about Fago on the show. I, you know what's funny? 
I was gonna I cleaned it up for him because I love all of our fans. Yeah. But this was sent, printed, proofread, and he wrote, "I heard two talking about Fago on the show." <gasps> but uh, in his defense, I've. I'm a shitty typer, too. Yeah. I heard you talking about Fago on the show and what garbage sugary soda it is. You're not wrong about it being garbage. <laughs> but growing up in Michigan, we lived on Fago because it was the cheapest stuff you could find. I've enclosed my favorite flavors. Grape, cream soda, red pop, rock and rye. <laughs> I've also included some better made chips, another Michigan favorite, just in case you guys are stoned. I mean, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoy as much as I enjoy the bonfire. Crackle, crackle from Tim. Uh, Tim, thank you so much. That's Thanks, awesome. Tim. And I'm, I'm telling you, we're going we're gonna to take a whack at this. When do you want to do it? I, I would, if we had a glass of ice, I would do the cream soda right now. Fuck. Because, uh... Christine! It's going to be... <laughs> Get ice! I want to do some Fago. Yeah, we're going to do some Fago. Merc face, some will you go get us two cups of yeah. ice? Call it, a, call it a recon mission if you need to. Yeah. Your, your Delta Alpha <laughs> beard. I don't know. Let's yeah. do shots hey, of Fago. Hey, Bravo 180. Oh, yeah. Let's do shots. It's shots of Fago. So wait. Merc face! Merc face! Merc face! Merc face! So we need two cups of ice, but then we need two other cups that we're going we're gonna to bang it out like shots. Yeah. We're going to do a sampling. Sampling of Fago. We're going to whack that. Oh, man, we're going to have Jacob bounce off the fucking walls. Oh, uh, dude, Jacob's going to be Sugar! screaming Isis. Iris. <laughs> I almost said Isis. He's going to be screaming Isis. He's going to be standing on the ledge like Nick Cage in the movie. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> Meg Ryan's going to have to tuck him off. Jacob, it's a movie. It's not real. It's all real. I'm an angel. No, Jacob, this is actually Meg Ryan. She was in the building promoting her book. <laughs> We're called Sleepful in Seattle. We had her come up here to talk you off. Oh, Morton Downey Jr., man. He was, uh, I'm looking at these things, these pictures here. Is he still alive? Do we find out? I, I think he's, he's alive. He's dead. Totally dead. He's dead. He is. What did he, he die from? He died lung cancer. Lung cancer. What? 2001, he died. Wow. From lung really? cancer? Yeah. Was it lung cancer? I, I mean, his thing was smoking I, cigarettes. $100. It was a sick, I hope it's prostate cancer. Car accident. But then you find that's because he also smoked cigarettes with his butthole. <laughs> I'm double-ending it. I'm going to do it. You devil, son of a bitch, get off my show. Double, devil threesome with two marble reds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting cornholed by a Newport light. I'm on a rotisserie with a cool. Yeah, he had Fat, fat Al Sharpton on. He was really a... Uh, Man, Fat Al Sharpton was so much more likable than Skinny Al Sharpton. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Because you couldn't take him... As, now you have to sort of take him more serious, and he's still saying Ooh, the same horse shit. No, he just looks like dried out. Who? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, dude, it's like Skinny uh, Al Roker we were saying oh, before. Yeah. It's gross. Bugs so me. weird looking. Bugs me. But Morton Downey Jr. is dead. But uh, this kind of shows, but these audiences, these shows were always so, so great, man. I always wanted to go to Jerry Springer. Dude, more than anything. He follows Follow me on Twitter. It, who? Jerry Springer. Follows you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the host of uh, Garbage Time, Katie Nolan, got him to fa got her got him to follow her, and mm -hmm. I was like, hey, get him to follow me, and she was like, you should follow Dan Soder, and he did. Really? Yeah. It's the coolest gift anyone's ever given me. And it's him. It, dude, it's fucking legit. It's got the blue check next to it's it. It's a fish him? Okay, we're doing a taste sample in here. All right, so we got Fago. But wait, the thing I wanted to say. From Tim, right? The th the th yeah, from Tim. Here's the thing I wanted to say about... Uh, Jerry Springer, I was one of my dream yeah. was to go. I liked uh, old Mari Povich's too, when like the girls would. There we go. All right. I smelled that coming a mile away. This thing. Oh, someone, the thing that was sent from Michigan is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, oh, so, uh, here, hand me one of the purple ones. You're going to go grape. I'm going to go grape. Oh, no, I'll do it. I can do it. I'm a big boy. Red Pop, <laughs> at the Gathering of the Jugglos, I was pretty sure Red Pop gave me a. Uh, I thought Red Pop gave me a fucking uh, parasite. <laughs> are you, wait, are you do, uh, give me a little splash of the cream soda so we can taste together. We're gonna, I'm going to do shot, making shots here. Oh, cool. Give this me a cup we, so I can make shots. This is we need shots. Christine. We need Christine for uh, her bartending skills. For her bartending skills. Where'd she go? I don't know. That bitch is always running around these offices somewhere. God, just always? Yeah. She's like a deli cat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look how purple this is. Can, uh, this is straight purple. Purple harp. <laughs> Purple got that, harp. Got All that right. sticky, icky, icky. Ooh, wee. There's a shot. All right. This is a There's shot, a shot of, cream of cream soda. soda. All right. Ooh. This is what. This is literally. This is the. This is the blood of a juggalo. <laughs> yeah. We're drinking. Take this, my blood. Oh, All yeah. of you. 
All right, ready? Let's do some shot paper. Right, down the hatch, motherfucker. Fago shots. Fago shots. On fire. Oh, it's so sugary. It's so sweet. God. Every flavor is cotton candy. All right, ready? <laughs> Let me pour a shot of grape. Give me a whack. Oh, sorry. Hold on. All right, ready? This is so purple, man. It, it looks like Kool-Aid. Is this Let's Go All The Way we're listening to? Yeah. How do you know their <laughs> library so well? All right, ready? Oh, 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 this is Insane Clown Posse. Correct. Oh, they remade the song. I heard that I thought it was the... Manson? The original. No. Oh, that's, come on. You know the original Let's Go All The Way. Very 80s tune. Hold on. This is a shot of purple soda. All right. Hey. Bottoms up, buddy. Hey, to sickle cell anemia. Yeah. <laughs> Get that diabetes. I mean, dude, it just it smells like candy before uh, you get it. Fuck, man. It's like sucking a pixie fairy's dick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How do you people drink fucking... Oh. It's like unicorn tears. It really is. Oh, my God. Oh, what's the back taste? Why is it so medicine-y? <laughs> That's Dimatap. <laughs> oh, you wondering? <laughs> you wondering the secret ingredient, buddy? That's Dimatap. What's the one in the red bottle? Oh, we're going to find out. <laughs> oh. We're finding out the hard way. It's called Rock and Rye? Yeah. Oh. Golly, I... Here they go. Lou, take a whack off that. It's the cream soda. Although, uh, someone tells me Lou might have boyish tastes. Yeah. <laughs> Lou's, uh, Lou... Not bad. I don't mind it. Yeah, Lou still Lou's... likes box macaroni and cheese. Lou, <laughs> Lou strikes me if, if you left him home to eat alone, he would have like a sugar smile around his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the dive, like the... I eat waffles all day today. Because I'm an adult and I do what I want. Yeah. You're the one that left me alone. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here's what I'm going to do. Hold that. Hold the rock and rye. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm pouring out so I have the ice cup. Ah, oh, dude, this is so gross. It's it's pretty growed. What is rock and fucking rye? Come on, dude. Delicious. Can I can I read the chemicals? Isn't that the soda that the song American Pie was about? Ah, the good nah. old boys were drinking Fago oh, rockin' and rye. rye. Singing, singing this will be the day that I die. Singing this is way too much sugar. What is it? What's the sugar content on it, dude? Just not that bad, it dude. Fucking. Is it not crazy? Twenty five grams of sugar. That's not, dude. That's almost less than ginger ale. That's not insane. That's not insane, but here's the ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, potassium benzidate, caramel color, sucralose, red 40, and gum acevia. I got a little gum acacia over here. Serving size. This is 20. And red 40. Yeah, this is two and a half serving sizes. So, yeah, it's like 50. <laughs> Dude, okay, never mind. It's like 65 dude, grams of sugar. Dude, it's, it's a crazy amount of sugar. I'm so stupid. It's a crazy <laughs> amount of sugar. Oh, dude, my a, mouth two and a half, Two and a half servings per bottle. Uh, ooh. Uh, let's get fagoed up. <laughs> uh. Woo! I wonder if strippers drink this to get all gassed up before their shift. All right, here we go. We're going with rock and rye now. We're gonna do rock and rye shots. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, I, the... I got some purple purple left. Cool. This is ah. this is the one that makes you murder your girlfriend, dude. It's it hurts my teeth. Oh, oh, get it all in there. You need a little more. Yeah, Can you juice you up, dude. With mixed with the purple, this shit looks. Look at that. It looks like blood, <laughs> oh, dude. It looks like Halloween blood. Oh, dude. Hold on. It's already dyed the ice. Yeah, it has. My ice at my my ice that's not inside the fluid is still red. I got an idea for our final shot. We're gonna mix all of them into a shot. That's our big goodbye. <laughs> ready? Oh, dude, you ready? Sm it up. smells like. Uh, dude, like... we just gotta drink it. Ready? Hold on. All right. Cheers up. Cheers up. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Sorry. There you go. Ready? Go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, God. It does hurt my teeth. It does. It really hurts your teeth. Oh, how do people get in there? How do people in Michigan have teeth? <laughs> well, 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 they don't. <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh. Too busy worried about gun laws. It really—they all taste sort of the same. Ugh. 
and they all taste like someone like poured water on cotton candy. <laughs> Liquefied cotton candy. All right, it's here like, we go. Uh, oh. Give me the cream soda. Wait, we didn't try red pop yet. Oh, we got to do red <laughs> we pop. We got red pop on its own. Dude, I'm going to get sick. This is disgusting. Oh, yeah, dude. Picked a good day to open up these shaky sodas Here, on my me. beautiful gray. I got it. My beautiful gray hoodie. Elusive love. Dude, this is so fucking gross. There you go. It's a pick. Of, do you think there's people who go and buy like 12ers of this and keep it in their house? They has to be. Yeah. Dude, people. dude if I, yeah, you're right. Oh, Jesus. Dude, this is so bad. My stomach's starting to hurt already. <laughs> uh, I don't like any of this. You were taking that. We're going to do a big mixture, though. We're pounding a big mixture at the end. Oh, God. Ugh. We're doing the 7 Eleven surprise. Remember right, that? That's what I was going to say. The suicide surprise. Yeah. Uh, All right. Here we go. On. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. Don't get ice, though, because I want to chug it. All right. Let it. There it is. Oh, God. That's so much. Oh, dude, I have a plenty, too. Okay, cool. But why do you shouldn't drink that much? What are you doing? I don't even care. Let's do it. <laughs> My daughter hates me. I'm on the tail end of a divorce. And not only I'm that, just, <laughs> I just found out this is the love of my life got killed in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I don't even have places to live. This is fuck Fago at all. Fago or die. I'm pretty sure that's just Robitussin, dude. That's pretty much just Robitussin. Dude, there was a moment in... Oh, God. Is that not... <laughs> there was somebody, a moment. somebody else try and tell dude, me it's not Robitussin. Dude, that's, there's a moment where I was sipping a hold on my face and shut it down. <laughs> Except you have a stroke. Dude, it's so Robitussin. All right, here. All right, here we go. All right, there's. I got my purple in there. Oh, I got some purple in there. Hold on. What do you need? You need a little purple? I got, uh, dude, I got purple. So you need some cream soda. Hold on. Give me one of those cups so I can... Oh, wait. Hold on. I got it. I'm blocking the ice. My fingers are going to be so sticky from touching this shit. Okay. Are you ready for me to juice you with a little bit of this? Dude, that's too much purple. That's a lot oh, of purple. That's the problem. You need more ice. Oh, dude. That's so... Hang on. Dude, Are we... we're not going to chug this, are we? Oh. No, probably not. I was going to talk tough for a second. You know open what up, I'm going to do? Open up Rock and Rye. I got you. Hold on. I got a little surprise for us. Here's what we're going to do. This is the master one. Don't worry about that. I'm it should be a drinking nice. game. Ready? Oh, God. All You're right, making a me, concoction. Give me the red. Give me the red. Red pop. Oh, my God. You got grape over there. I got some great. Yeah, but I got a shit ton of grape in it. Oh, my God. All right, give me cream soda again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to top it off. Oh, dude, this is so gross. Oh my lord! Dude, that really looks like it looks like science fair shit. Give me, uh, give me both those cups because we're gonna drink out of them. When I wake up in the morning and I love it, I don't want it, and I think I'll ever make it on time. Oh, dude, that's gross. Oh, dude, that's gross. Dude, oh, dude, 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 Hey, what's up? Welcome to Dan's Fago Bar. <laughs> Can I get you guys a libation? Do you what's guys up? like libations? Uh, uh, your new nipple fly, piercing bro. looks like it's really irritating. I lived in Bushwick back in like 97, and I was the only white person, and then I opened this Fago Bar, and most of them died of diabetes type 2. I pretty much bleed clown at this point, so... Dude, this is so gross. Let me see that cup. If you drink, you can only drink this with a straight face if you have a straight face painted on in clown makeup. Exactly. Hold on. Oh, dude, this music is so intense. Oh, hell yeah. Feels like an old Navajo. We're coming to the, we're coming to the end of the show. <laughs> For I am bringing you the blood of the buffalo. <laughs> yeah, is this ayahuasca? Is that ayahuasca's made? For in the middle of the country lies a, a form of white people. <laughs> Giant. Too big for houses. So they are in metal trucks. Metal teepees that they call <laughs> single whites. And for that, teepees. Metal teepees. For metal teepees that they have, which they have taken our land, we have taken their sugary drink, <laughs> and we will gain their strength. This is... <sighs> you ready to go on a fucking Midwestern spirit journey? Oh, dude. I'm going on a vision quest. This is so gross. When this show's over, I'm just going to walk aimlessly around Times Square. Fuck you, I'm going to jump out the window and fly like an eagle. <laughs> Dude, this is so... Hold on, I still got... I got to even mine out. 
For when they say the white man has taken the Great Lakes, he became so big that like a buffalo, he found his one place <laughs> and made the sugar his friend. <laughs> You're being so... For he made the bubbles his friend. You're being so precise with it. Dude. There it is. Here we go. Straight up looks... Christine, take a picture of this. This shit looks like blood. And for this, my high socks will show that we have the power. On the eve of Thanksgiving, we will drink the blood of the fat white man and gain his power. His ability to kill the deer. That's all right. His ability to make another... All right, all right here we go. Woo! Wow, this man, that's gross. just like a... Ready? Fuck, man. Dude, we gotta do this. <sighs> Jay, I love you. I don't care how this changes us. I feel like we're being pussies, but I feel like if you were here, you'd see. It's gross. That this is, like, not good. <sighs> All right. Ready? Here we go. Wait, before... Why do the why insane we... clown posse, why is this their thing? Because they don't give a fuck. That's it. It's it's like, really fuck it. Me... It really makes me think they don't give a fuck. It's it's why there's all right. Let's do it. This is, let's go. Ready? Go. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, uh. Fucking shit. Uh. <laughs> you said it, Mark Norman. Mm. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's like. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna. It's all chemicals. Yeah, you know. <laughs> It sounds so pussy, but I mean, you know, oh, God. to say that it feel it makes you feel nauseous as you pound it, it yes, makes it, me feel nauseous. Yeah, it makes me feel like, like it's booze, and similar to a medicine drink. Yes, the same way. Yes, exactly. That's why I said Robitussin. Oh, when I was younger, I remember Robitussin Dude. make me like have to run around. <laughs> so he's having a he's having a vision quest. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's a grizzly on me. Ah. <laughs> Find my way. To the mountains. Oh, shit, dude. dude. God, fuck that shit. Straight up fuck that shit. First off, <sighs> I don't want to hurt anyone's business, but man, but people shouldn't be drinking that. <laughs> Let me see that letter. Tim, God bless you. God bless you, buddy. Thank you for sending us Fago. That's so fucking gross. My stomach hurts. He gave us chips to soak it up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's too, too bad I'm going to fucking... <laughs> Bazooka blast this out of my asshole once it hits my Dude, heart. it like congested me. It... it <clears throat> We should go get high before the live show. Yeah, it's thick, it's thin. I gotta, I gotta take some medicine of my medicine. So gross. Do I have a bright red mustache? <laughs> no. Do I still have my two front teeth? Because I feel like they're made out of brittle sugar. They're whittling down as we speak. <laughs> yeah, they're melting in front of you. Um, don't forget, next Thursday, December 3rd, Trocadero, Philadelphia, I'll be taping my Comedy Central hour special. So, uh, danceorder.com, uh, at Bonfire SXM. You can, you can get at the, the link. At the Bonfire at SXM. At the Bonfire SXM. You can get links to the, to the tickets to go see the comedy special. For all your naked selfies, we have, uh, yes. the, it's The Bonfire. At SiriusXM.com. The, the Bonfire at SiriusXM.com. The Bonfire at SiriusXM.com. Is that water? Oh. Uh, you can catch uh, me this weekend, Hilarities in Ooh. Cleveland, Ohio. Please get tickets. Please come out. That is an awesome club. The awesome water. food. Awesome laughs. I do want water. Oh, fuck. Uh, at Big J Okerson. A lot of fun stuff coming up. Uh, I will be uh, down there uh, with Dan for a special taping. Mm. Checking him out. Supporting my ball. Yeah. Holding a boy named Goo sign in the audience. Boy named Goo. <laughs> I know we got a boy named Goo out there in the audience. A boy named Goo. You want to come up on stage and do a song with your hero? And he's like, more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for listening. We'll see you Catch guys. Catch you guys next time.